and make yourself at home. Everybody's welcome at Kadoody, oh yeah. We're gonna sing and we're gonna read the word. All of it is worship when we do it for the Lord. Yeah. Clap your hands with me. Stop your feet to the beat. Lift your hands to the sky. Stop us, Kidonio! There's a God above who loves us, Kidonio! Nothing's gonna stop us at Kidonio. We know that Jesus loves us. Hi, kiddos. I'm Kristen. Clap your hands if you're ready to go on a wilderness adventure. I know I am. We're in a series called Into the Wilderness. In the Bible, God's people learned a lot about God when they were wandering in the wilderness. During our time together, we'll learn more about God as we complete challenges and follow a wilderness map. Let's start by taking a look at our map for today. First, we'll head to the tall tree, then we'll travel to the mountain, and finally we'll head over to the mystery spot. Let's get started by practicing our big idea. That's the super important thing we're learning about today. Excuse me, but what's the big idea? The big idea is God keeps his promises. God will always do what he says he's going to do. Now let's stand up and practice the big idea together. I'll say a part first and you can repeat after me. Ready? The big idea. God keeps his promises. Great job, turn around. And now let's say the big idea all together in our buying sheep voices. Ready? Ba, ba, the big idea. God keeps his promises. Ba, ba, ba. Great job. Turn around. And this time, let's say the big idea in our neighing horse voices. Ready? Nay, nay, the big idea. Nay, nay, God keeps his promises. Nay, nay. Awesome. Turn around. And now let's say it again in our oinking pig voices. Ready? Oink, oink, oink. Oink, 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 oink. The big idea. Oink, oink, oink. God keeps his promises. Oink, 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 oink. Great job, kiddos. Now we get to try our first wilderness challenge. Let's see what it says. To get to the tall tree, you need to spin like a helicopter over to it. Okay, kiddos, stand up. Get in your helicopter. And now let's spin as we head over to the tree. Great job! Sit down and let's see if we made it to the tall tree. We did it! Well, now it's time to learn more by going on a Bible adventure. It's time for a Bible adventure. Oh, hey, oh. Oh, hey, oh. Here we go. The Bible is the greatest book ever. It's full of words from God. There are also true stories in the Bible that show us what God is like. Today, we get to read about a time when God kept his promise. God's people had been wandering in the wilderness for 40 years. Joshua was the new leader of God's people. God told Joshua, get my people ready. In three days, you will cross over the Jordan River and go into the land I promised you. Joshua sent some spies into the promised land to check it out. 
The king didn't want them there and tried to hurt them. A woman named Rahab helped the spies and kept them safe. The spies returned to Joshua saying, We know God is giving us this land. So Joshua gathered all the people and walked towards the river. God said, When you get to the river, go into the water and stand there. It sounded silly to stand in the water, but the people obeyed God. Right away, the water stopped flowing. God's people were able to cross the Jordan River on dry ground. Then Joshua told 12 people to gather stones and set them up near the river. It was a way for everyone to remember that God had kept his promise to his people. They were finally in the promised land. Great listening, kiddos. God kept his promise to his people and led them to the good land. God always keeps his promises, no matter what. Well, now it's time for our second wilderness challenge. Let's read it. To get to the top of the mountain, we need to climb up. All right, kiddos, put on our hiking boots. Zoop. And now let's start climbing. Keep going, we gotta get to the top. Almost there. Great job. Sit down and let's see if we made it to the top of the mountain. We did it. Only one more stop to go. Well, now it's time to learn our memory verse. Memory verse, memory verse. You can remember the memory verse. Hey, hey. Our memory verse comes from the Bible. This verse reminds us of who God is and what he's like. It goes like this. Psalm 86, 5. Lord, you are forgiving and good. You are full of love for all who call out to you. Now it's your turn to try it, so stand up. I'll say a part first and you can repeat after me. Psalm 86, 5. Lord, you are forgiving and good. You are full of love for all who call out to you. Great job, kiddos. Turn around. And this time, let's say the verse in our super quiet whisper voices. Ready? Open your Bibles. Psalm 86, 5. Lord, you are forgiving and good. You are full of love for all who call out to you. Great job. Turn around. Now let's say the verse again in our super loud shouting voices. Ready? Open your Bibles. Psalm 86, 5. Lord, you are forgiving and good. You are full of love for all who call out to you. Great job practicing the memory verse. Stay standing because now we're going to sing a song together. This song is about how much Jesus loves us. I like to jump. Every day, I like to jump every day. I like to jump every day because I know He loves me. I like to jump every day. I like to jump every day. I like to jump every day because I know He loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me.
Awesome singing! You can sit down. Now we get to try our final wilderness challenge. Are you ready? It says, to get to the mystery spot, do five jumping jacks. Okay, kiddos, do you think you can do five? Count to five with me, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Great job. Now let's find out if we got to the mystery spot. We did it. Let's see where the mystery spot is by trying out what we've been learning today. Try it out. Try it out. You'll never know until you try it out. That's right. We finished all of our wilderness challenges today, and now we've made it to our final spot, a bonfire. Do you know what my favorite thing to do at a bonfire is, kiddos? It's make s'mores. Put your thumb up if you've ever had a s'more before. S'mores are so yummy. You roast a marshmallow over the fire until it's nice and gooey. Then you find some graham crackers and some chocolate and you make it into a sandwich. Right now, all I have are some graham crackers and chocolate, but no marshmallows. Rocky the raccoon promised that he would bring some marshmallows and leave them at our campsite. But I can't find them anywhere. Hmm. I don't have any marshmallows, but I do have some ketchup and mustard from the hot dog I ate earlier. I wonder if that would be good on a s'more. Let's see. All right, it looks ready. Should I try it, kiddos? Here we go. Sandwich. Mm -mm. Nope. I really don't like that. That's not a good s'more. Mmm. Yuck. Hmm. Well. The only other thing I have here is pickles. I had those earlier too. Do you think that would taste good on a s'more? I mean, I still don't have the marshmallows. Thumbs up or thumbs down? I mean, I guess I won't know until I try, right? Let me try a pickle. All right, kiddos. A pickle on my s'more, do you think it's gonna be good? Let's try it. Mmm, that's kind of sour. Oh, kiddos. I don't like s'mores without the marshmallow. Ick! <sighs> I really wish Rocky had kept his promise to bring those marshmallows. Kiddos, have you ever had someone make you a promise? Maybe they promised to play a game with you or take you somewhere special? That kind of reminds me of our Bible adventure story today where God made his people a promise. God told Joshua to get his people ready to cross the river into the land he had promised them. The people had waited a long time for this promise to come true. When they crossed the river, some of the people picked up stones to help them remember that God keeps his promises. You know, kiddos, people don't always keep their promises to us, but God always keeps his promises. If God says it, it's true. Some of God's promises to us are, God will always be with you and God will always love you. Those promises are true no matter what. Hmm. You know, Rocky is the type of friend that I can usually count on. I'm gonna check one more time and see if I can find those marshmallows. Oh, 
god, kiddos! Here they are! I found them! Rocky did keep his promise and he left the marshmallows right here. I just didn't see them right away. Well now, let's go make a real s'more. Oh, kiddos, that's more like it. This is delicious. I'm so glad that Rocky kept his promise and he brought the marshmallows. But even more than that, I'm so grateful that God always keeps his promises to us, no matter what. Well, kiddos, I'm gonna keep eating this more, but I can't wait to go to another place with you next week. I love knowing that God will always keep his promises. If God says something, it's true. Now let's celebrate all we learned today by standing up and going Kidawampus together. It's time for Kidawampus. Let's go, Kidawampus. It's time for Kidawampus. Let's jump around and Kidawampus. Singing it's time for Kidawampus. Let's go, Kidawampus. It's time for Kidawampus. Let's jump around and Kidawampus. Singing Kid, oh Wampus. Kid, oh Wampus. What? Kid, oh Wampus. Let's jump around and Kidawampus. It's time for red light, green light. When the light turns green, run in place as fast as you can. When it turns yellow, walk in place slowly. And when it turns red, stop. Ready? Here we go. Great job! That was a super fun Kidawampus! You can sit down because now it's time to talk to God. We can pray anytime and anywhere because God is always with us. Right now, let's fold our hands and close our eyes so we can focus on what we're saying to God. If you want, you can repeat after me. Dear God, we love you. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for keeping your promises. Amen. Well, I've had so much fun with you today, kiddos. Remember that God loves you and will always keep his promises. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.